Let's bring to the conversation Rod McKenzie, Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association. Rod, you'll have seen or at least heard of this headline. Your initial reaction. Morning to you. Uh, hello, Nick. Uh, well, this is wrong-headed and it's illogical. Uh, putting taxes up now hits real people and real businesses at a critical time when they're trying to recover from what they've had to face over the last few months. So it doesn't make sense. At some point, as you rightly say, this stuff has got to be paid for, the giveaway stuff. But now is not the right time. How is the industry, Rod? The industry is struggling. Uh, it varies from the supermarket sectors, which has done pretty well throughout, to many other sectors which are, frankly, on their knees. Overall, uh, you know, volumes are about 60, 70 percent of what they were. Uh, but it's a real struggle out there. So if you slap extra charges on hard-working hauliers and van operators, that will cost jobs. It will stunt economic recovery. It will threaten businesses that are already teetering on the brink. And can I bring in the B word as well, with Brexit just around the corner? Presumably it's a dish. And my goodness me, the men and women you work with, they are going to be the lifeline, whether you're a Brexiter or a Remainer. You probably don't need this hurdle to clear as well, do they? Well, that's absolutely right. It's a, a perfect storm, as they say, of, of circumstances. And if you're hit by these extra charges that you suddenly have to pay for, uh, you're looking at extra charges connected with Brexit economic uncertainty. Uh, what we actually need is a reduction in fuel duty that puts us on a par with our European competitors, not a rise, as, as is being suggested today. Well, it will cost us jobs. Lastly, you've, you've almost touched on the point, because what is the view of the Road Haulage Association? This freeze has been in place, I think, for 10 years. I hear what you say about the price of fuel in France and Italy, Portugal, or else, but there is the argument that a 10-year freeze is long enough, and at some point that has to give. Rod McKenzie. And that feels like a very simplistic political argument. Actually, if you look at uh, the Centre for Economic and Business Research, they say a 3P cut would add uh, at least a billion to the UK economy and create 8,000 new jobs at a time that the, we, are, we are shedding jobs in, in the economy. What's not to like? Thanks for that. Rod McKenzie, always good speaking with the Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association.